this video we will show you how to configure or update the firmware on a Beam Communications Extreme docking station. First we need to do is to download the Eagle software management tool from the Beam Communications website. Here I have the website in front of you. I'll open the website uh, to the product page of any Beam drive dock or bot dock or light dock extreme. So this is the product page. I'll see. Uh, I'll go to drive dock, or you can go to bot dock or light dock. It's going to take it in the same page. Now, this is the product page. Okay, these are all your product specifications, uh, that sort of stuff. And then I want you to go to the product support page. Okay. So this is where you can find any technical support related stuff. So then go to configuration. Here in configuration, this is where you can find the software management tool download link along with some instructions. So first, only thing you need to do is download that and wait until that downloads. Okay. Once it downloads, all you need to do is to open the file here and install. Okay, I'm going to skip the installation section because I've already pre-installed that in my PC. I'll just open software management tool here called Eagle. I'll click yes. Then the next thing that I need to do which you can't see on my PC, uh, on the screen now is I have switched on a drive dock extreme and connected it to my Windows computer using a USB cable. Now once that's switched on and connected, I'll click this uh, click to connect or disconnect button. So you can see it's processing. Now you have your landing page. So you'll see here your model number of your dock, the firmware version. And if you have a Iridium Extreme handset connected or docked in, you'll see the firmware version and the IME number. Okay. And you have a whole bunch of other information here. Next thing that we need to do is to update the firmware is you click show advanced options and the far right button upgrade firmware. So if you have uh, downloaded the most recent firmware version, uh, Eagle version, you'll have the current firmware updated here, right? Don't mind this now because this is the test software that I'm using, so it's not really exactly what you're seeing. But if you see that your current firmware is older than the uh, new firmware, then just go ahead and click start. Okay? You can also have the option to choose a custom firmware. So this means if you were given by the tech support team uh, a firmware, a different firmware to test, you can always choose this. And browse over just to find that file okay I'll click cancel and cancel it takes you back here now since we're at this page I'll just show you how to how to find the logs so from this page click advanced options again and then click log history so in log history you'll see all the activities going through the uh, you know that has been recorded in the talking station unfortunately this one doesn't um, but then if you see some logs here all you need to do next is just click export and then save it somewhere else okay and then email that to a beam communications team member and then that's it that's how you update the firmware and download the files on your extreme docking station using the Eagle software management tool I'll switch that off, switch off my docking station and disconnect the USB cable. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your Beam uh, communications support team at support at beamcommunications.com.